Welcome everybody to this first episode of Teezy's Table. You guys know me, if you don't know by now, I go by name of Teezy Scott. Thank you guys for tuning in to this first special bonus content episode on the Swerve City Podcast channel. You guys can subscribe at youtube.com backslash Swerve City Podcast. If you guys saw the trailer, Simone is not here yet for the very first episode, but I'm pretty sure she will be in the future. We'll let you guys know details on that for when the co-host is going to be here. But the other co-host of the show is here with me. <laughs> I apologize. I am not as pretty as Simone is, but uh, I'm here. He wasn't lying about that. <laughs> but, you know, thank you guys for tuning into this very first episode. You guys can get these shirts right here, you know, in black. I have them in white, and I have them in navy blue here. You guys can go to Fully Gimmick to cop those shirts. And just go to FullyGimmick.com, put in Montezzi. The order's right there. Or you can go to my Instagram, click on the bio, and then go right here to the link and order your shirts exclusively. And thank you guys for all your support on that. So now, we're going to get into this first episode topic. I have my laptop here, guys, because I'm looking professional on this now. You, you got to stretch on that. I got to stretch, you know what I mean? <laughs> on, the, on this beautiful table that Swerve has provided for us to shoot content on. So, we're going to do our top five artists of the year, in our opinion, in order, from five to one. Should we say top five or just like our favorite artists of the year? You can do favorites. Okay. You can do favorites. Do both! And, um, you know, for us, you know, we wanted to have this episode with the wonderful year 2019 coming to an end where, you know, we've 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 done we've seen so many great things go on in hip hop that we both cover. We listen to other forms of genres. I'm pretty sure our artist is gonna be in the hip hop realm that we have really, really seen a good come of of artists coming through this year. Some people from the J. Coles to, you know, the Rhapsodies, you know, you name it. I mean a lot of artists, Royce of Five Nine dropped some music earlier this year guys that we really favor, and there's people that have started podcasts, things of that nature, so we've seen a big year in 2019 when it comes to respective artists, but we wanted to break this down to our favorite artists of this year, and you know, what impact they have on us, and you know, our favorites, so for me, I'm going to pass it to you for your first start, who would you who would you have as one of your five favorites of this year? Uh, <clears throat> immediately, who comes to my mind is Freddie Gibbs, who I think mm. is very underrated, very underrated, very underappreciated. Uh, Freddie Gibbs has dropped nothing but heat since 2014 when he dropped his first album with Mad Lib, Bandana. If you haven't heard that, please go listen to it. It's amazing. And they just dropped a follow-up album uh, this year. Um, no, P no, sorry. Pinata was the album that came out 2014. Bandana was the, uh, was the album that came out this year. Uh, absolutely amazing. The production's amazing. What makes Freddie Gibbs so dope is like he really mixes comedy, gangster talk for the PG people out here. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, comedy, gangster talk. And he also mixes a real subtle hint of vulnerability that you just can't get with many artists. So he's definitely on the list. Um,. I'm looking at your list, actually, as I'm doing this, and we also have uh, the same guy on there, Fonte, of Little Brother. Like, Little Brother, they just dropped a new album this year, and Fonte has just been dope for years, you know this. Absolutely, that's been our guy for a long time. Since we first met, that's been our person when we first started yeah. talking about hip-hop. We've yeah. known each other uh, a decade, so, you know, we yeah. go way back, so. We go way back. Uh, if you're not familiar with Fonte, sings, raps, before Drake. That's the Drake Blueprint, man. <laughs> that is, Fonte is the Drake Blueprint. Yeah, Drake Blueprint. Actually, if you go back to, like, Drake's, was it the comeback year? The comeback season? Comeback season, yeah. Comeback season, like, one of, like, Drake's early, early mixtapes. Yeah. Literally sounds like a bunch of Fonte throwaways. So, like, Knife Wonder, I think, even, like, produced, like, half of it. Half of the mixtape, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But, yeah, man, uh, definitely check out Fonte if you haven't. And Little Brother, shout to them. Uh, number three would probably be see of the year. I gotta give it to my dog Anderson Pack. Um, I love Anderson Pack. He's super dope, super versatile. He can rap, he can sing. However, I do prefer his singing a lot more than his rapping. He just has such a great, like, great voice. <laughs> that was a terrible. In the running, in the running, in the running, in the running, in the running. It's gonna bang in the least six summers. <laughs> yeah, he just has like a really great like singing voice. Like, kind of really reminds me of that that old school seventies soul singer vibes. Uh, he'll definitely be what am I on number three? Yeah, number three, number four. 
Only because I don't think he really got the recognition he deserved back in 2016 when he dropped his last album. I'm going to go Danny Brown. Danny Brown dropped an album mm. this year. It is amazing. Um, not as not as good as his um, previous album, Atrocity Exhibition, but still really good. Uh, you Know What I'm Saying came out this year. Um, he's uh, not really talking much about his drug addiction, but he's talking about just a whole slew of things. And it's a weird, like, re reaffirmed Danny Brown, but still pretty awesome. And still check that out. So, um, unfortunately, I'm going to... Or not unfortunately, but <laughs> I'm gonna give him number four slot because I don't think he. I think he's another underappreciated artist that doesn't really get a lot of shot. And honestly, number five, I can't. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna put not the whole Griselda, but I'm gonna put the name three, the main three: Westside Gun, Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine. Those three dudes are just. First off, if you're a fan of just like boom bap hip hop and you're not listening to them I don't know what you're doing because these guys have somehow reinvigorated that I guess sub genre, sub -genre of hip hop they've reinvigorated that style yet they're not really doing much different yeah. like, like like on paper yeah it's weird Locks 2.0 man yeah man so that's my five I'm gonna run it back uh, <laughs> I kinda cheated we got Griselda we got Danny Brown we got um, Anderson Pac, Freddie Gibbs, and I'm forgetting one. Fonte. Fonte. So. Absolutely. Uh, that's a dope list. I actually I, I can't believe I omitted Freddie Gibbs from my list. And that thing what he did with Mad Lib this year was amazing. Freddie Gibbs has been one of my favorite rappers for the past, like, four years. First time song I heard from Freddie Gibbs was Ghetto. That was my song, man. Yeah. Yeah, Ghetto was my was my joint. And that was to an industry beat. But that's when I first heard of Freddie Gibbs. Long time ago, he dropped that record. And I've been follow him ever since he has a sense of believability yeah. that is uh yeah. very, that you just can't you can you can read it from people griselda has that yeah it's a sense of believability yes. that you don't get in many artists today so yes. salute to him i'll put him in my honorable mentions my first honorable mention i didn't put him in my top five but davies just dropped mm. uh i believe davies once davies i couldn't put him in my honorable mentions because i believe davies is still trying to find his his, his sound yeah. he's still experimenting yeah I believe this album he did put out is like a 7 out of 10. I believe it's really good, 8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that Davies is almost there. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think? Out of curiosity, what is your favorite Davies project that he's done? With Styles P. With Styles P? Yeah, mm -hmm. Beloved. I think that's, even though it's just like pure just rapping, it's not yeah. like, you, you know what you're going to get from that. Exactly. But that is my favorite because it, it pushed him. Mm -hmm. It pushed him lyrically to a place that I didn't know he could go. But you know where Styles is going to go? Yeah, you know where Styles is going to go. You're going to get thrown off a roof? So, <laughs> no. You're going to get thrown off a roof. He got, he got the hawk, oh. and, you know, good luck. People getting poked. Pause. Oh, God. And, Whoa. um, so, I am, um, don't make me laugh, y'all. Uh, yeah, so Davies, uh, I, I put him in my honorable mentions. His last project was pretty good. Mike got me over here trying to hold in my laugh. Love you, bro. Hey, but um, you know, uh, so he would be in my honorable mentions. I have JID at number five. Yes, mm -hmm. I believe that with the Dreamville album, even though he he's not on every song, but what he's done this year, JID is my probably my favorite guy that has been on to come up so far as far as new people. Um, I'm a huge JID fan. I'm a big Dreamville guy. A lot of my favorite artists are now from North Carolina. Uh, Fonte, Little Brother, Rhapsody. I mean, they're all from that area. Is Boss from the North Carolina too? I think. I think I don't know directly if he's from. I believe though, mm -hmm. Boss has been Boss is in like my top ten this year. He didn't make my five, but um, so I have. Uh, Jad is actually I think from Atlanta. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So, um, but, the, but the regular label is based out of North Carolina, right? Though, so absolutely, yeah. absolutely, stand corrected. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> so, um, uh, Jid, I have Cole at four. I believe Cole with the features he did this year. If y'all did not hear that family and loyalty that he did on Gangstar, beat, oh my, when Premier's beat, he slaughtered that verse. The last verse he did this year. That verse he did on Gangstar's album. I have to give honorable mention to Gangstar, too. I've been listening to that album. I'm a big Gangstar person. Uh, Likewise, I haven't, made, I haven't made my way to it yet. It's a good album. For like the throw, it's like kind of considered throwaways a guru yeah. that he picked through, but he Premier picked some good ones. Yeah. 
Because you know what Guru's going to get? It's not going to be like overly lyrical. It's yeah. straight to the point, but it's really good. And I really like that Gangstar project. So that would be like another honorable mention of Gibbs and the East thing. But okay. uh, J.I.D.E. Cole, uh, four. I have Fonte at three. I believe Fonte, Fonte, whenever he drops, I'm listening. He's one of my biggest inspirations. I wish I had an ounce of that singing ability. He's amazing. Amazing lyricist. The Little Brother album was dope. It was a good comeback. Shout out to Big Poop, rapper Big Poop. Uh, shout out to rapper Big Poop as well. I feel like we kind of... We sleep on him. Yeah, we got to sleep on him. Uh, he's another one that's underrated as well. Uh, Fonte, unfortunately, gets all the shine, just like Andre Three, three Stacks gets all the shine from Big Boy, but... Um, Big Poo is also pretty dope as well. So he's a dope MC as well. as well. I mean, he definitely stepped his pen up that album. Um, kind of had to. I believe, yeah. yeah. Fonte's in a, from coming from Foreign Exchange. If you guys haven't checked out Foreign Exchange, please check out Foreign Exchange from Fonte and Nikolai. That that group is amazing. I love the Foreign Exchange, and um, I wish the only thing I wish about the Fonte project was that they that them and little uh, and not little brother, excuse me, them and Nice Wonder could have came to an agreement. They did say in an interview that they didn't really like the beats Knight sent them. Oh, wow. And um, Knight was really focused on Rhapsody, so they didn't really feel like... They feel like they kind of got throwaways in a way. Mm. So and Rhapsody's getting like top stuff from Knight, and you can't really blame him. Rhapsody's really getting some of the best Knight beats we've had yeah, since like since, 2009. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, since like the menstrual show, bro. Yeah. So um, shout, out to, shout, out to, uh, shout out to Fonte. I have him at three. I believe I had to, I had to switch between these two. I think Rhapsody could be making a play for like one of the best rappers in the world right now. Yeah, I believe Rhapsody. She dope. is dope. I have not no. I don't mean this in any bad way or anything in generosity of females, but I haven't really considered putting a woman at the number one spot due to me not being able to relate to everything they do. But I like to relate to them since Missy Elliott. I would put like, like the number one spot. Like Rhapsody is very close to being considered like the best rapper in the world right now. If you really listen to her last project, she murdered that album. And shout out to her and Ninth. They are in a zone right now. Yeah. Rhapsody, do not put anything out for a while. Let this album sit on people Please. because this album was really, really good. This track with, I forgot the title name. Excuse me. I'll have better research on the next episode. But the track with her and Queen Latifah was fire. They said Queen Latifah snapped on that one. She ate her. Rhapsody got eight. And Rhapsody admitted it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Queen Latifah was on fire on that track. And, like, Queen Latifah doesn't really have to... Obviously, she doesn't have to put effort into, like, rapping anymore. So that's actually refreshing to hear. Like, Absolutely. Being, like, someone step away from the mic for, like, you know, like what, 20 years? Or from rapping, yeah, yeah. From rapping points, yeah. And yeah. she, uh... They said that they went to... The, that she went to Queen Latifah's house in Cali, and they sat down and wrote the track together. It was no email, and they sat together and wrote it together. And that's dope. dope. That's dope. She sat with the beat for a while, and they went in the studio and did that. So, shout out to Rhapsody. She's really in a zone right now. Um, I'm looking forward to her next uh, her next project. And uh, the number one person right now, man, uh -oh. I think Benny the Butcher is the yes. best rapper in the world right now, man. If you have not listened to The Plugs I Met. Oh, my God. God. Mm. I'm gonna get him on Westside Gun too. He been he been slipping on Westside Gun. But... Yo, shout out to Gun, who's a huge wrestle fan. You had all the AEW shows. I see you, Gun. I can't wait to meet you one day, bro. But I just gotta get more in tune. I'm more. I've been more of the Conway and and Benny guy. If you listen, if you love dope beats and just really random but amazing wrestling references, check out Westside Gun, please. Check him out. That he's dope. But anyway, uh, back to Benny. I player. think Benny gives me a feel. That I have not felt from an artist. Just like so I got I was on Benny. I got on Benny's music maybe about six months ago. I heard in and out of who he was, but I wasn't really in it until like I did my research. I went back and listened to every project available on YouTube to the plugs I met. Then I heard the plugs I met and I just heard the growth. And I'm like, half of this stuff that he's talking about, I never lived that life. But, but just the I feel like I lived that life I from listening. I feel it like. <laughs> I let my homie listen to uh, 5 to 50, which is the last track on there. He's like, man, he's like, I feel like not only did I move the weight, he's like, I feel like I know the plug. I feel like I drove the streets. I feel like I know everything about it. It's crazy how, like, yeah. authentic, how authentic they come off in their music. And... 
it's just some details. I, I'm not. I'm gonna go on a hunch and say like ninety percent. You can't fake <laughs> some of the stuff. Some of the level, like the level of details they kind of put Absolutely. into it. But absolutely. I mean, we're not we're not condoning yeah, not condoning not any, condoning any, any criminal activity any criminal activity or anything that they that they discuss but it just but I, I get a feel from Benny man when I hear his music and I'm just like and then the beats and I just hear him going and it's like well listen Griselda is like a niche audience so if you very. like that kind of music you will love it but if you're a lyricist or anything like that you j- I just feel something from Benny's music. Right now, as this year, he has slaughtered this year. When I heard that track with him and Black Thought, I'm just like, yo. Uh, I said, yo. It's kind of like, um, uh, kind of like, uh, this is kind of like compared to apples to oranges, but like, for all the battle rap heads, we're, we're battle rap fans, like Goods, how like Goods can kind of. He got like, like his aura? Go, yeah, he has like a really like dope aura about him. And also, Gun also kind of experiments with his beats a little bit more too. Like especially in his last, like uh, his last like two projects, he's kind of like gone a little bit. Like he has, still has the boom bap stuff, but he like he'll rap over like just a sample, like literally just a sample, no bass line, no nothing, just a sample, and you're just like, oh, all right, this is different, but absolutely, yeah, so absolutely, you know, um, in a nutshell, I think, excuse me. Uh, 2000, 2019, I think, has really shown that there's a lot of there's a lot of great there's a lot of great music coming back. You know, there's a lot of lyricists that are coming back. Good overall music. Um, I have to give the shout out as well while we're on the channel. Shout out to Leo Rush. I heard you okay. dropped a new project. I gotta give you a salute on that, man. Just checked it out. Uh, keep working on your craft, man. Keep grinding. Um, we're working on our project from humble beginnings. Um, I'm about to drop the the lost tapes, which is. 13 unreleased wrestling themes. I'm about to drop that in a week. So just, I, I, I'll put that out just to put that out. I don't have no marketing plan behind it or anything. No, no, go ahead and go ahead and dust your shoulders off, pal. You know what I mean? That. Thank you, bro. Uh, the Lost Tapes too. Um, just 13 wrestling themes for some people. I have, like, really, to be honest with you, if we went over, like, how many Lost Tapes I'd probably have right now, all these wrestling themes I've done, there'd probably be, like, nine of them. So I'm just going <laughs> to give these out to the streets and just, like, when I'm done and retired, Lost Tapes 11. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, get DJ Clue on it. Get DJ Clue. Lost Eight Clue. Lost Eight Clue. Teaser's in the coffin, but he still got music, 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 music. music. <laughs> He's two pocket as Lost Tapes fifteen. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So yeah, I, I, I consider that like my mixtape. So it's just like I just give it to y'all. Um, for humble beginnings is like the album, and then I'll be working on my solo Erica son after that, which is like a real deep my album by myself. And uh, me and Swerve will still be recording and probably have another Swerve City album after that. So I like to continue working. So, But, um, yeah, I mean, that's the albums of the year. Excuse me. Artists of the year. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Before we close out, you want to talk a little bit more. You mentioned growth from Tana Talk to the plugs I met. Absolutely, yes. And his flow is probably the biggest thing that changed. Like, he always could rap. I always thought Benny could rap. We always knew Benny could rap. But something about... Just like listen to, listen to Tana Talk three and then listen to uh, five to fifty and just like how his flow is just like really just came into his own. I think he's really starting to find his stride now. Absolutely, I think like, that he's um, he's reached like a point. Like I hear it from from both of them. Like the storytelling on the plugs I met was amazing. And the thing is about Griselda too. Like they follow that same locks mindset of like, okay, we're all in the studio together. We're gonna do two songs for your album. We're gonna do two songs for your project. We're gonna do two songs together for our project. And okay, Betty, you got two songs. I'm gonna feature on yours, Conway. You, I'm gonna feature on yours. You feature on his. And then everybody just raps together. You can tell they're a great unit. So shout out to Griselda and um, just hearing the growth. Like the plugs I met is probably top my top two projects of the year. Yeah, likewise. And uh, we'll go back on do our albums of the year next segment. But uh, definitely shout out to that. Uh, shout out to Gangstar with their. Um, with their new project. I love their project. Shout out to Dreamville for their project. Shout out to Dreamville and shout out to J.I.D. and J. Cole being, <laughs> making your list for top uh, top five artists of the year and not even having perspective solo albums out. Like, it was a compilation of like everyone in Dreamville and I guess like affiliates and friends and all that. Absolutely. And yet, J.I.D. still like shined the most, I feel, from that album. Yes, he did. And then, and of course Cole as well with all his features and everything so I'm not 
the biggest Cole fan, but however, I got to salute to just putting in work like that, just killing feature after feature after feature and killing this compilation. That's crazy. So salute to, salute to you guys. Salute to Dreamville. Absolutely, man. Um, you know, we're gonna uh, before we wrap up this episode, man. Anything, uh, anything you want to promote? Anything yourself you're working on? Or? Uh, be on the lookout for um, the new segment. I am not. Well, I guess I am host or not hosting. Uh, new segment I'm putting together with the Swerve City team here called Chit Trap. Technically, it was supposed to be out already and debut already, but some things had to get um, altered and content had to get or questions had to get switched around yada 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 anyway uh be on the lookout for that I'll be out with probably well before this <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah but yeah, the next like, edition though but the next edition soon. yeah yeah and uh i don't know look out for maybe a few skits and a short film i'm working on but yeah i'll, I'll get to you guys more in about that in depth later so but yeah oh and follow me at sci-fi 2423 on twitter and yeah that's about it man absolutely man uh let you guys know just really quick before i give you the social media uh, and all the information that uh this is bonus content for the episode tz's table is something that you guys previously saw on a, another network uh before we uh transferred it over here so this will be content that me si and ho hopefully simone will we'll be able to sit down and uh have music talk we'll drop one of these maybe one two episodes a month for you guys as extra content we'll might we might have longer episodes but we like to keep them like this so you know we like to get right to the point for you guys and give you guys extra content for the channel make sure you guys subscribe youtube.com backslash where city podcast and support everything that we have going on thank you guys for all the support the followers and uh you can follow me at um uh, at tz scott on instagram twitter all things of that nature the lost tapes 2 is coming next week i'm just going to drop the link for you guys if you guys want to uh check that out i have some unreleased theme for some people thank you to uh sammy Guevara. salute to you uh thank you for that uh, it is doing well for the itunes and the pockets so Ooh. thank you very much for that and um you know as i as i, I close out thank you guys very much for watching you can't cheat the grind when you come for the king you best not miss Peace Better pay your due, now let go.